Hello, I'm Seeks97. In this episode of Dream of Website Building, I'll be showing you how to input images here, uh, which are the size of how you want them to be on your website, how to input them next to links so that they both get linked as well. So, firstly, I'm going to show you where I put them. So, on the local folder of the website, which is Website of Awesome on my local disk, go to Images and you just put in the images you want. So, I've got loads of logos here and I've put logo, logo underscore to just sort them out. And they're all 20 pixels by 20 pixels, which is the size I want them to be on your on my website. So, whatever size you want those to be, make sure they're this size, as I'll be showing you how to resize them in Dreamweaver in a future tutorial. So make sure you've got those images in an image folder in your local site folder. So first I'm going to show you how to input the images by dragging it on, so that's the easy method. So for that I'm going to do the first YouTube link, so that's Gaming with Party and Tutorials with Party. Basically I'm going to go to my site files, site manager thing, go to images folder and select my logo underscore YouTube which is 20 pixels by 20 pixels hold left click down and drag it next to game of party so you see that black line uh, leave alternate text blank and long description blank okay and you see it inputs it and if we look down here it says the source of the images images put in and it's also linked itself because if we go to the code we can see that the start of the link is here then the end is here so anything inside those two things would be get linked and that is the text and our image here and I'll be talking about the code in the next part so now I'm going to do this but for the tutorials of party link so I'll get the logo and drag it next to there click OK and it's got the image and it's linked it to where this link in which is my YouTube channel Seeks97 Tutorials which is what the channel you're watching this video off so now I'm going to show you how to input these images with the links onto it, but the code method. And first one I'm going to do is the Facebook page, so just double click that so it's highlighted and then go to code so we can easily find where it is, which is here. And then after the A href, so the link tag, just after there we want to put bracket IMG and we can hit enter, space, source, and then double click browse. And we find that image, so we go to images and then logo underscore Facebook and then a closing bracket. And if we go to design, we can see that image has been placed in and it's got the link here because it's inside the link tags. So I've just put this same thing here, so I've just put those in, but as you can see here, it says stuff like width 20 and height 20. Uh, basically, that's saying that the height and width of that is this. Um, what it wanted to be on your website because it's in bold font it means that that's was the original size so if you take off these tags saying width 20 and height 20 the picture still works because it uses the original size which was 20 by 20 so we can do that for all of them just to make the code a bit more neat because you don't need them need the Dreamweaver or the HTML page to resize it if it's already the size we want it to be so just remove that and all the images are still the same and they all still are linked uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my channel as that supports me a lot. Also, check out my Twitter page and my Facebook page. Facebook page, I do like big uh, not like notification sort of things, so that's not frequent. But on Twitter, I'm always on there. I either do notifications, just talking crap, basically. Um, as well as updates of my videos, I like when they're uploading and stuff. And also check out my friend's channel, so my two friends channel, Vorsim Gaming, um, where they start to do loads of Minecraft series and they're going to start doing Black Ops 2 videos when that comes out. And hopefully I'll see you guys next episode.